This uh, cabriolet came in last night before closing time. Complaint was hard to start. Um, the car was sitting for a while, went through a car wash a few days before. Um, don't think it's all related. We already put an ignition coil in a couple of years ago, but uh, when scanning it yesterday, I had a uh, coolant temperature sensor fault code. So I'm just gonna check it again this morning, nice and cold. It was warm yesterday, obviously, but the coolant temperature was uh, that the control unit saw was 141 Celsius. Um, so I just wanna see what it reads now when it's cold. Attach the cable, turn the key on. Engine module. <coughs> I cleared the code yesterday. Shouldn't be any right now. Oh, there is good coolant uh, engine coolant temp sensor. Open or short to plus. That's the same code that was there yesterday. So let's just go measuring box. See what the temperature is at. 141 degrees Celsius. And if we scroll up, we can probably see um, intake temperature. Intake temperature 13 degrees. So right away the computer knows something's going on here with a cold engine you should have coolant the same temperature as the intake temperature uh, to confirm that it's a sensor problem not a wiring problem we're just going to disconnect the sensor Disconnect the sensor. Actually, put on the magnifier. 141. Gonna disconnect the sensor. Minus 46. Sensor disconnected. So, in all likelihood, it's a sensor problem. If it were a wiring problem, the the number would not have changed. Uh, minus 46 Celsius is normal when the sensor is disconnected. Okay, I'm gonna change the temp sensor. I'm gonna release the pressure, if any. Put the cap back on. have your new sensor ready to go in. This blue grease is just some rubber grease. We will lose a little bit of coolant. You will lose a little bit of coolant, but it's not shouldn't be too much as long as the reservoir is capped off. And when you pull it out, make sure that the O-ring comes out with it. If the O-ring stays in there, you're going to have a hard time putting the new switch back in, or a new sensor. Use a little pick. If the O-ring doesn't come out, use a little pick or screwdriver. There's the O-ring, and you can see not too much fluid coming out, but you still want to be a little bit quick. Clip can be reused if it's in good condition. And don't forget to plug it back in. A little bit of corrosion happening here. Some battery cleaner. This is the stuff that foams up. 
I just spray it on the corroded affected area and it eats through the corrosion. And I have these, they look like tweezers, but you can go in here and you can clean the terminals. It's basically like sandpaper. So what you do is you rub it up and down. And some of you might be thinking that it's the corrosion that was the problem. Uh, again, that's not so. Corrosion causes resistance. Um, high resistance would re cause the sensor to read low or the computer to get a low signal. Since we got a high signal, that means it, it was a short um, or an internal short or whatnot. Uh, so corrosion itself could not have caused the 141 degrees Celsius reading. And this is just some brake clean. And you can see there's more, more copper showing now. So the corrosion is somewhat gone now. Okay, and then any spilled coolant here, you just use uh, some water and just rinse it off. If it's a standard transmission, you want to make sure that the timing plug is in, otherwise you're going to get coolant running down into the transmission bell housing, onto the clutch or flywheel, and then just top up the coolant as needed. Always go a little bit higher than maximum, just in case there's an air pocket. It'll circulate back into the reservoir and the fluid level will drop. Okay, sensor's plugged in. Let's have a look at the reading now. Key on again. Okay, remember I didn't clear it earlier. So the code should still be present. The code is still present. I can clear it now. Go to measuring block. Coolant temperature 13.5. Intake temperature 13.5. And it should start easy now as well. I always check oil level. Started fairly quickly, maybe two and a half cranks. That was another easy one. Thanks for watching.